What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel. And today I figured we could just have a little bit of a chat about some of my favorite hair and skin products that I've been using for the past few months. So if you remember a few months ago, I did one of these uh, fall favorites video in the same vein. So I thought we would kind of continue that tradition of doing one per season. Um, the only reason I thought of doing it per season instead of per month is just because, you know, I try so many products and so many of them I only use for a couple of weeks or something before I might review them. And then later I might come back to them and use them some more. So I feel like giving it a season gives it, just gives the products more of a chance for me to like them and for them to possibly make it onto this favorites list. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below if you like the seasonal thing or if you would prefer to see these types of videos um, like once per month. All right, so this month I have actually quite a few more skin products than hair products that I wanna talk about with you guys, so I figure we'll start there. All right, so first up is this Cucumber Herbal Conditioning Cleanser Face Wash by Kiehl's. If you remember from my Fall Favorites video, I talked about the kind of um, partner toner of this same line. I still do use that as well. And I decided to try this cleanser instead of the, um, the Purpose one that I had been using. And I'm really glad that I did because this is probably easily like the best facial cleanser that I've used. It's just, it's very gentle. So it's great on people with sensitive skin like I have. It smells great. It's just a very, very light, very fresh, kind of a little bit of cucumber, lime, minty scent, um, but nothing overpowering for sure. And it doesn't feel drying. It just, you're, when you wash your face with it, your face feels very clean, but it does actually feel conditioned. The skin feels soft and it doesn't feel tight or dry or anything. And it, as you might expect, it works very well with the toner of the same line. Next up is another Kiehl's product and this is their Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. Now this is a newer product from them. I think this is actually very new. Um, I just, I was in Kiehl's buying the, the uh, face wash and re-upping on some toner and things and they showed me this and they actually like gave me a free demo with it and this stuff is amazing. Basically, you use it, uh, you will wash your face, tone, and then put this on and leave it on for about five minutes and then wash it off and it's, um, obviously it's, it's just to really, really super moisturize your face. I mean, I actually, when they tested my skin, it was pretty dry and fairly dehydrated and after using this, it went way up in hydration and this stuff, it just it feels really good. It feels very cooling and very soothing. Um, it has a kind of uh, citrusy scent to it. I just, I really, really like it. It feels great. Um, they actually mentioned that some people like the cooling effect so much that they'll keep it in the refrigerator. All right, next up is another Kiehl's product. So you're obviously seeing a pattern here, but I promise this is the last Kiehl's product for today. Um, and this is just their Ultra Facial Cream moisturizer. I think I would consider this like their main moisturizer that a lot of people will buy from their line. It works for a lot of different skin types and it's just a really good moisturizer. Um, if you remember from the Fall Favorites video, I was using one by Fresh, which was also great. But this I think is comparable, like very comparable. Um, and it's like $20 less and you get the same amount. And it's just, it's nice. It's very light. It's not at all greasy. It absorbs into the skin very quickly. So it doesn't take any time at all to dry really. And um, it's barely scented at all. So you really don't smell it. It's great for my sensitive skin. Just works awesome. All right, next up is something quite a bit different for me, but I've really, really been liking it. And that's this CC Cream by IT Cosmetics. Now, um, I know what some of you guys are gonna say, like, well, it's makeup, man. Yeah, it kind of is. And guess what? It's 2018 and who fucking cares? But anyway, basically what this is, they call it a color correcting full coverage cream. Um, it's not necessarily full coverage, but basically I wanted something to essentially use as a concealer for my dark circles for times like when I'm recording and I'm under lights and the dark circles are just amplified. Um, and this is essentially that you can use it as like a spot treatment, but you can also apply it all over your face and basically it just makes your skin look very smooth. It evens out the tone, so it's all one nice uniform color. Um, it's also hydrating. It has a bit of a serum in there, so it just feels really good on your skin. And it has SPF 50, so 
Um, and really, these days, you really gotta protect your skin from the sun, so this is something nice, you know, especially even in the summertime as it starts to get warmer out there and we're gonna be outside more. Putting the SPF 50 on your face, which you might not otherwise do really, I think is going to be really important. All right, next up in the skincare world, we're moving from facial skin to hand skin. And a problem that I have every single winter is that my hands get so dry. And it seems like no matter how much lotion I put on throughout the day, how much I keep moisturizing, they just, they never really get back to where they should be. They're still dry and like on really, really cold, bitter days, they can crack and get itchy and all sorts of nasty stuff. And this year I tried something a little bit different. My wife picked this up for me while I was out because I was really having a bad day. Like my knuckles were cracking and stuff. And that's this O'Keeffe's Working Hands Hand Cream. Um, the packaging is ugly as hell. It looks like something you'd find in a hardware store, but this stuff is honestly amazing. You use like, you know, a kind of a scoop, like a hair product scoop amount uh, for both hands. It's very, very light. It absorbs quickly. It doesn't stay greasy, which I find is a huge problem for me with a lot of lotions out there is that they just feel like they take forever to absorb. Not the case with this, absorbs really quickly. Um, and it works um, like just unreal. Like, I mean, th the first day that I used it, like overnight, my hands changed. I mean, they weren't completely healed, of course, but they were th considerably better than they would have been with any other regular hand lotion. So if you are a guy who has very dry hands in the winter, I definitely recommend you try this stuff out. It just, it has been an absolute lifesaver. All right, so finally we are moving on to hair products and this time I only actually have three of them. Well, technically four, I guess. So we're gonna start in the shower arena and I just want to mention Clean and Condition, uh, shampoo and conditioner by the Salon Guy. I, it's been a while since I had these. I mean, I used them like months and months and months ago when I first reviewed them and I hadn't used them since then. I went back to my standard Moroccan oil and after a while, I said, you know what? I want to try these again. And actually it was because I watched uh, Mike over at Modern Man TV did a shampoo search video on these. And he was mentioning how soft his hair felt and stuff. And it kind of like sparked a memory. And I said, man, I got to try those again. And boy, am I so glad that I did. I mean, these, I think these work better for my hair than Moroccan oil repair. And that's saying a lot because Moroccan oil, I mean, you guys know, I just, I love their stuff. I've used their shampoo and conditioners for a long time now. They work very, very well. Um, but clean and conditioned, man, I, I mean, honestly, like the way that Mike put it in his video was th these products are kind of like you're bringing some of that salon treatment home. You know, like when you leave the hair salon after they've washed and cut and styled your hair, it feels so much softer and better than it ever does when you're at home, right? And you know, Mike said it right. I couldn't say it any better myself. These bring that experience home. And like when I wash my hair with clean and condition, it feels so unbelievably soft and healthy and it has a nice shine to it and just light. And it's just really, really great stuff. They smell amazing by the way. And I think part of the thing for me is, you know, as I mentioned in the review, they smell kind of like uh, sweet coconut and a little bit tropical-y. So the smell really reminds me of being in the Dominican Republic for my honeymoon. So it's like a nice memory that I get every time I'm washing my hair. Um, so that's just kind of an added bonus. But yeah, um, if you haven't tried clean and condition yet, try them, you will love them. All right, moving on to hair styling and you guys know what it's gonna be. It's Clutch Clay by The Salon Guy. Um, I mean, I have been trying a lot of products lately, a lot of different clays and a number of things, and I have been liking a lot of them. And spoiler alert, reviews are coming soon. Um, but, but really, like, I'm not kidding when I say that Clutch has kind of become my gold standard. It's like when I try a clay now, I'm like, well, it, is it gonna be as good as Clutch? And I, this stuff, it just, it's so good. It just, it has everything that I want in a clay. It's creamy, it's smooth, easy to apply. It has good hold, it gives you great texture. It's got a matte finish, it smells amazing. It lasts all day, it stays pliable. Even after sleeping on it overnight, like my hair still looks good in the morning and it's not greasy and it hasn't gone to strands. So I mean, 
this is it's just the full package like other clays have parts of that but still like nothing yet has really stood up to this all right guys and lastly i want to talk about this kms hair stay now i i enunciated that a lot more than i normally would because it's it's basically a hairspray but not really so this is really interesting stuff i mean you you obviously you use it like a hairspray for the finished look but it, it doesn't really have much hold so if you're looking for a super strong hold hairspray this ain't it but what this is designed to do is to help seal out humidity to control frizz and just keep your hair looking good all day and i think it does just that um, you know, when I first used it, I, I was like, man, this, like, it's not really locking my style in. Like, it has not really that much hold, and it's kind of expensive. I think this little guy was like 28 bucks or something for this 4.1 ounce thing. Um, but the more I used it and the more I actually read the description and how it's supposed to work, it does work as it's supposed to. It, it does definitely help seal out the humidity, which is a huge problem for me, especially as we get into the warmer months and warmer weather and it it smells great you know one like a lot of finishing products have just, just that really kind of alcoholy just not nice smell not a problem with this and um you know it's something different it's different than a regular hairspray but i like that about it all right guys so that does it those are my winter favorites in hair and skin so i hope that you enjoyed this video and found some useful info here now as i mentioned i have been uh, looking at a number of other products so there are more reviews and hair comparison things coming soon and probably the one that most of you want to know about is this guy right here Arcadian clay pomade yes I finally bought one for myself so I can answer everybody's question about every clay how does it compare to Arcadian um, so this is going to be my next review for sure probably next week that does it for this video guys I hope that you enjoyed it if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, please do so to keep up to date with all the upcoming content I have coming your way on the channel. And as always, thank you so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you at the next one.